Welcome to our latest video in our GCSE revision series. This video is on the topic of the contact process, the manufacture of sulfuric acid. By the end of this video lesson, you should have an improved understanding of what happens in the three main stages of the contact process to manufacture sulfuric acid, and you should be able to write chemical and word equations to describe each stage. You should also understand that concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent, and be able to describe its effect on sugar and hydrated copper 2 sulfate. Now, just as in other videos from this revision series, we're going to focus on how you answer exam questions. So, the first exam question is in two parts. Here's the first part. So, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll show you the second part of this question. So here's the second part of this question, part B. So once again, read through the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go for the answers to parts A and B. So first, let's go for the answers to part A. So question 1A says the flow diagram below shows the stages in the contact process, and we have element A being burned in air, to produce sulfur dioxide and then sulfur dioxide being heated over a catalyst at 450 degrees C to form sulfur trioxide and then this being dissolved in concentrated sulfuric acid and then diluted to form acid C. So the first question says give the name of element A. Well the element would be sulfur. Sulfur is burned in air where it reacts with the oxygen to form sulfur dioxide. So part two asks you for the catalyst. So the catalyst is vanadium 5 oxide. So catalyst B is vanadium 5 oxide. You can also write down the formula of the catalyst, which is V2O5, and that is the catalyst that's needed in stage two. So the acid that you produce in the contact process is sulfuric acid, and once again, they would have accepted the formula H2SO4. Again, one mark for this. So the next part of this question is asking you to write a balanced symbol equation for the formation of sulfur trioxide in stage two. So we start with sulfur dioxide, which is SO2, and we end up with sulfur trioxide, SO3, and oxygen is needed here to turn sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. So to balance it, we have to have the same number of sulfur atoms and the same number of oxygen atoms on either side of the equation. So if I put a 2 in front of the SO2 and a 2 in front of the SO3, I'll have two sulfurs on either side. I'll have six oxygens on either side, and the equation will be balanced. Now there's three marks for this question. One mark if you've got the left-hand side correct without the balancing. So for example, you had the correct formula for sulfur dioxide, SO2, the correct formula for oxygen. That would get you one mark. If you had the correct formula for the right-hand side, sulfur trioxide, SO3, that would get you one mark. And if you had the correct balance in, so a two in front of the SO2 and a two in front of the SO3, you get the final mark. So it's a three mark question. So now let's go through question 1B. So question 1b says a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid were added to some crystals of hydrated copper 2 sulfate, CuSO4, 5H2O. And it says describe two changes in the appearance of copper 2 sulfate as it's dehydrated. Well, hydrated copper 2 sulfate is blue in colour. And if you added concentrated sulfuric acid, which is a dehydrating agent, the water would be taken away and it would turn white. So if you said blue hydrated copper 2 sulfate turns white, that will get you one mark. Now it's actually a reversible reaction. So if you added water to anhydrous copper sulfate, so the white version of the copper sulfate, it would go blue again. And that's sometimes used as a test for water. Now to get the second mark here, you have to say the following. Now, hydrated copper 2 sulfate has a crystalline structure. You get blue crystals. But if you dehydrate it, you take the water away, you will lose this crystalline structure and it will appear crumbly or powdery. So if you said that, you will get the second mark. So this is a two mark question, one mark for the color change 
and one mark for the idea that it will lose its crystalline structure and it will go crumbly. So here's our second practice question. So this is again in two parts. So here's the first part of the question. So once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll look at the second part of this question. So here's the second part of this question. So once again, read for the question, pause the video, have a go at it, and then we'll go through the answers to parts A and B. So now let's go through question 2a. So question 2a says the contact process involves four stages. The first two are shown below. So sulfur plus oxygen forms sulfur dioxide and sulfur dioxide plus oxygen forms sulfur trioxide. And the first part of the question is asking you to name the raw material that provides oxygen in stage one. So the raw material would be air. If you said that you get one mark. Now part two is asking you to describe the last two stages in the contact process, stages three and four. So stage three would be sulfur trioxide being absorbed or dissolved into concentrated sulfuric acid. And by concentrated sulfuric acid, we mean 98% sulfuric acid. And that would result in 98.5% sulfuric acid being produced. So if you mention sulfur trioxide being dissolved or absorbed in concentrated sulfuric acid, you get one mark. Now for stage four, the mixture is diluted with water to produce concentrated sulfuric acid again because you need 98% sulfuric acid in this process. So that will get you one mark if you said that, the idea that it's diluted with water to produce concentrated sulfuric acid. And then part three is asking you to name the catalyst used in stage two. Now remember stage two is where you have sulfur dioxide reacting with oxygen to form sulfur trioxide and the catalyst is vanadium 5 oxide which has a formula V2O5 so if you said that you get one mark. Now in question 2b we have concentrated sulfuric acid being added to sugar and a black solid forming. Now sugar is a carbohydrate and the question asks in terms of the elements present in sugar, describe what happens during the reaction. Well, if sugar is a carbohydrate, it contains carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. And concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent. That means it will remove hydrogen and oxygen from the carbohydrate in the same proportions as water. So sugar is a carbohydrate and concentrated sulfuric acid will dehydrate the sugar. So therefore it removes hydrogen and oxygen and if you remove the hydrogen and oxygen from the carbohydrate you're left with carbon and that's what the black solid is so there's one mark here for saying that sugar is a carbohydrate and the conch sulfuric acid dehydrates it removes hydrogen and oxygen and the final mark here is for the idea that carbon is left behind so one mark for the idea of dehydration removing hydrogen and oxygen and one mark for leaving carbon behind and that's the black solid. So that concludes this video lesson. So after watching this video, you should now have an improved understanding of what happens in the three main stages of the contact process to manufacture sulfuric acid and be able to write chemical and word equations to describe each stage. And you should also understand that concentrated sulfuric acid is a dehydrating agent and we to describe its effect on sugar and hydrated copper 2 sulfate. That concludes our video. Thank you for watching. This and other GCSE, AS and A-level chemistry videos can be found on our YouTube channel, Dr. O Chemistry.